Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 41x minus 10 over x cubed minus 8 dx. There isn't anything too wild about this one. It's just a test of your algebra skills. So pause the video if you want to try it on your own. I'm going to jump right in. First thing we have to do, notice the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator. This is a top-heavy rational expression, as my pre-calc teacher in high school used to call it. It's a Dolly Parton fraction. So we're going to long divide. I'm going to put placeholders. That's how I was taught. But if you just leave spaces, that's fine. So x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 8. We'll divide that into... The numerator x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 41x minus 10. And don't worry, I sat there and doctored this one up so the numbers come out nicely. Okay, so just see what do I need to multiply x cubed by to make it x to the fifth, y x squared. Multiply that throughout the divisor, so we'll have x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 8x squared. Subtract that from the row above. x to the fifth is gone. Then we have negative 4x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 7x squared, and then bring down that 41x. And then repeat. So minus 4x is going to go up top. So we'll have negative 4x to the fourth plus 0x cubed, plus 0x squared, plus 32x. Very good. Subtract this from the row above. So x to the fourth is gone. Then we have 3x cubed, plus 7x squared, plus 9x, and then bring down that negative 10. We can keep dividing. This will be the last time. So plus 3. Then we have 3x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 24. Subtract this from the row above. x cubed's gone. 7x squared plus 9x plus 14. That's our remainder, right? Notice the degree here is only 2. Our divisor is degree 3, so we're done dividing. So this is the quotient sitting up top here, and then we're going to have plus the remainder over the divisor in our integral. So we have, let's tell the people what's going on. Integral, quotient was x squared minus 4x plus 3. Hopefully we could all integrate that even on our worst day. And then we have plus remainder, so 7x squared plus 9x plus 14 over the divisor, which was x cubed minus 8 dx. How are we up to here? Good? All right, so now since this rational expression has a higher degree in the denominator than the numerator, we can go ahead and find the partial fraction decomposition. Woohoo! So to set it up, remember we need to factor the denominator completely, and the denominator is a difference of cubes, which will factor into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now remember, this is an irreducible quadratic. It will not factor any further over the real numbers. So the decomposition is going to have the following form. We'll have a over x minus 2, because that's just a linear factor. And then we need bx plus c over that irreducible quadratic, x squared plus 2x plus 4. All right, multiply through now by the LCD, which is x minus 2, x squared plus 2x plus 4. So we'll have 7x squared plus 9x plus 14 equals a times x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus bx plus c times x minus 2. Now, since we have an irreducible quadratic to solve for a, b, and c, we will have to multiply this all out eventually. What I like doing lately, this is like a new thing. I will substitute in x equals 2 to get at least one of the values, and then it makes solving the system easier. So if I let x equal 2, I'd have 7 times 4 plus 36 plus 14 equals a times 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus the rest would just be 0, right? 
And then this gives me 60 equals 12a. So I know a is 5, which is great. And then now when I multiply everything out, solving for a, b, and c is just that much easier because I already have a. So ax squared plus 2ax plus 4a plus bx squared minus 2bx plus cx minus 2c. And then look, like, okay, I have 7x squared. That has to equal a plus b, right? 7 has to equal a plus b, but I already know a is 5. So boom, b is 2. Moving on with our lives. What's next? 14 is my constant term. That must equal 4a minus 2c. 14 equals 4a minus 2c. 4a is going to be 20. 14 minus 20, negative 6 is negative 2c. C is 3. And we're done. It's just way more relaxing. Okay, so now we could put everything together. Remember, originally we had that x squared minus 4x plus 3 hanging out. And then I have plus a, which is 5, over x minus 2 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 2x plus 4 dx. Okay, let's go through, see how we could handle integrating each of these terms. No big deal, no big deal, no big deal. We got it. 5ln, absolute value of the denominator. Ooh, what to do here? Well, I know I can't factor this any further. So what you should think to yourself is, if I did a u sub, if I let u be the whole denominator, would it work out well for me? And I, I'm thinking that because see how the numerator is one degree lower? So let's let u equal x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then du would be 2x plus 2 dx. Do I have that? I mean, almost. I have a 3. 3 is 2 plus 1 last time I checked. So I can literally just split that up, okay? Let me rewrite everyone we have so they're not forgotten by the wayside. x squared plus 4x plus 3 plus 5 over x minus 2 plus 2x plus 2 mm -hmm, over x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 1 over... Okay, now what to do from here? If you're just going to have a constant... What I want to do is complete the square in the denominator, and then I can use the fact that, yes, we know we have integral 1 over x squared plus a squared dx, hopefully you put this one to memory, is 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c, right? So if I were to complete the square for x squared plus 2x plus 4, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial, right? But we have plus 4. So you're going to factor that together. You're going to make that x plus 1 squared. And then think of this as rad 3 squared. I'm going to plop that in right here. So this is x plus 1 squared plus rad 3 squared. Good? Don't worry, I didn't forget the dx. I'm, I'm just simply out of space. So here we go. Have we set ourselves up for success? Yeah. And remember, I didn't actually write it out. This is u, and then this all would be my du. You could write that all out to the side if you need to do it. I'm just going to mentally do it, okay? So at long last, we've got our answer. Are you ready? One third x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 ln absolute value x minus 2 plus remember when you use up this is going to be 1 over u du so it'll just be ln i don't need absolute value on the denominator it's never going to be negative so x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus this is going to be 1 over rad 3 tan inverse Oh, we need to scoot, scoot for the grand finale. Here's the grand finale. X plus 1 over rad 3. Don't rationalize. It won't look any better. In fact, in my opinion, it'll look worse if you rationalize the denominator. Leave it like this in all its glory. Okay, job well done. Did you enjoy that? I cooked this one up myself because I wanted to see... I'm going to save it for next time I teach Calc 2, whenever that is. Um, if students will recognize doing the long division first, 
Do they know how to factor a difference of cubes and find the partial fraction decomposition accordingly and then deal with having to do splitting up so that you could do a U sub and a tan inverse? I thought it, I thought it tested so many good things. I don't have a Calc 2 class this semester. Um, just DE's Calc 3 and some stats, but I'm very excited. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed this integral. Let me know if you approached it differently. I'm very curious, but I don't think this one had too many twists and turns that allowed you to take a different route. But nevertheless, please do share. I love reading your comments. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. I'll be back sooner than later. Bye, guys.